Then your pluggable databases, especially when there were non-CDBs before, and now they should become pluggable databases and you plug them in, they may have different component sets. So when you check into a DBA registry, you may find that one here, like my three examples, one has label security, the next one has spatial data option, and the other one has the workspace manager. Now, if you want to plug them in, the CDB dollar root, like the docking station for all these PDBs, must be a superset in terms of the installed components in the root container. So when we plug them in now, the root container must have catalog cut proc XDB, that's mandatory anyways, but it must have also workspace manager label security and spatial data option. If one of these is missing, then you can plug in your PDB, but it will never open unrestricted. So recommendation is install as many components as required, but not more than necessary. This has two important things or aspects. First of all, less components mean faster upgrades. That's one thing. Less components mean less scripts to run, upgrade runs faster, very simple math. Second thing is, if you don't have certain components, you may not use anyways. That means also you need to take care less on special patches, especially on the quarterly OJVM patches. So be careful and decide carefully what you want to install. It's always possible to add components later on to your CDB dollar root if needed. When you create your database now in DBCA, we would strongly recommend that you take that advanced configuration button. Don't get it, go the easy route and click advanced configuration and then custom database. Because this route is the only way how you will see this screen here, where you can choose which options you'd like to install. And at the end, create a template from this and then reuse that template and it will do always the same. Now here you see by default, there are a lot of components ticked on by default on the CDB dollar root. But be aware, if we do exactly what's here now on that screen, my CDB dollar root will have all these options installed. The PDB dollar seed won't have any of them. Why is the PDB dollar seed so important here? The PDB dollar seed is a read-only pluggable database we create. And we use that PDB dollar seed when we provision a new PDB. As soon as you say create pluggable database, we will create a copy of the PDB dollar seed. And now all these copies, like the sons and daughters of the PDB dollar seed, they will have only the Oracle Server and XDB installed. This could be intended, and this is absolutely fine, because you can install also components into pluggable databases as long as like the mother component is in the CDB dollar root, all is fine. You can do that, but you need to be aware what we are doing here. If it's not ticked on here for PDB, the PDB dollar seed doesn't have that component. Another thing you need to be aware if it's clicked on by default, Apex, which is a great feature. I love Apex, we all do actually, but Apex should never be in the CDB dollar root. It should be always only in PDBs. And this is the only exception from the rule with the components. Apex can stand alone and should be stand alone in PDBs and should never be in the CDB dollar root. Why not? Because if you start unplugging and plugging in later on, you need matching Apex versions in the CDB dollar root of the receiving one if you have it here in your root. And this creates all types of various problems and issues with versions or with non-existence and whatever. No APEX in CDB dollar root, APEX always only in the PDBs. And this is the only exception from the CDB dollar root has to be the superset. And if you are in a situation that you realize, oh, we don't want that component or can we remove it? Is it safe? You can remove basically more or less almost all components. You find a longer series on the upgrade block. We linked it here. So when you download the slides, you have the link how to remove components from a non-CDB, from the CB dollar root, from the PDBs, or for, from an entire multi-tenant environment.